G'day, I'm Warren Logie and this is Brisbane. Queensland is filled with obnoxious fibreglass tourist attractions, from the fruity big pineapple to the beloved big peanut man. But nothing compares to Brisbane's often ignored but just as magnificent big boot. The big boot currently sits on top of this car dealership, rotting away and devaluing the surrounding properties. But back in the day, this boot was a Brisbane icon, and it all started with a plate of spaghetti. The aptly named Brisbane Boot Factory in Paddington opened in 1930 as a place to manufacture women's clothes in men's sizes for use in Christmas pantomimes and vaudeville acts. Due to strict cross-dressing rules in Queensland at the time, a permit was required to obtain these clothes, and after 40 years of unsuccessful business, the boot factory was forced to close. In the 1970s, the factory reopened as the Brisbane Boot Factory Restaurant and Spaghetti Emporium, a large restaurant that used all the old boot factory equipment as tables and cooking utensils. They even went as far to manufacture boot-shaped glasses to tie back to its historical roots. To attract customers, the restaurant commissioned a massive fiberglass creation to go on the roof. While the most logical choice would have been a big bowl of spaghetti, a big boot was chosen, and so begins its merry life of squatting on buildings with next to no relevance to the businesses that operate beneath it. After it was found out the Spaghetti Emporium was serving its customers dog food, the old factory was then turned into a nightclub where the boot sat like an unwanted party guest. The boot was a popular navigational feature to find your way to the club after a long night at Expo 88, and was refurbished for use as accommodation for lower tier visiting dignitaries like Fergie, the Duchess of York. In the 1990s, due to a road widening effort, the old boot factory was demolished. But if you think that stopped the boot, you would be wrong. In Chermside, retailer Boots Camping was pleasantly surprised when mysteriously the massive boot appeared on its roof one morning, with no explanation. Despite the increased visibility of the business, a decline in the sales of agro sleeping bags forced the business to close, leaving the boot alone on top of an empty building. Despite many efforts over the years, no one could ever remove the boot, leaving many car dealerships to somehow work it into their look. But as time has moved on, the boot is looking a little worse for wear, and even in its brief time as a paint shop, the boot's colour is fading. Too heavy to move and indestructible, the boot has never left its spot since, except on one occasion when it made a shock appearance at the Queensland Performing Arts Centre to tell Cats the Musical to bugger off. Calls have been made to move the boot back to its home in Paddington, which is now a skate park, but those calls have been unanswered, Potentially because I unplugged the phones. The big boot might just be a massive shoe, but it also has a huge soul. I'm Warren Logie, and this was Brisbane.